Hello everyone, welcome back to my stock channel. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to tell the delegation event model in brief. What exactly is a delegation event model? As we have started the event handling, that means the approach of event handling is totally based upon this delegation event model. The concept is very quite simple. Now just let me tell you. The delegation event model contains two entities. Okay, listen carefully what I am telling. It contains two entities. First one is a source and second one is a listener. Now what exactly is the relation between the source and listener? The source is nothing but an object. It will request, it will send the request to a listener. Then the listener what will do? It will wait until it get the request and as soon as it get the response, it will return and respond. Okay, so this is what a quite relation between the source and a listener. For, for this purpose, the source must be registered to a particular listener that it wanted. Then what exactly is the advantage of doing this? That means only a listener, only that particular listener will get the or receive a notification uh, that it wanted. So this is what the advantage of registering the source with the listener. Now how exactly to register is there is a method that we are going to see a further. Okay, so this is what in short I have told the delegation event model which contains two entities source and listener where the source sends a request to listener and listener will respond. Firstly, before this the one rule is there that it should be registered with the listener. Okay, and just let me tell you, Java allows, Java allows the event handling without using this delegation event model. Then how? By extending, by extending the AWT component. Just also remember this. So this was in short, what is a delegation event model. Now we will see event, event source and event listener in brief. So what is a event? Let me tell you, event is a change in a state of an object or a source. Just remember, event is a change in a state of an object it, or it can be a source. So it depends upon the convenience as a person interact with the different elements which are on graphical user interface. So let me clear, there are many of the events. Just remember there are, there are many of the events which are not occurred due to the interaction with the user means their user can't interact now let me give an example that means there is exceed in the timer then timer exceed then there is a problem or somewhat failure in the hardware or software or the operation is completed so these are the example where the user are not interacting with the element and then to the event happen so this is what in the short what is the event now next we will see the main point are of a delegation event model which is the source that is event source and event listener how to register this all the things we are going to see one by one so what is source? Now source as I told, source is an object that generates an event. Now when exactly this event will happen? Then when there is an internal key change in state of a particular object or a source. So just remember the source can register with two or more than two. It can also register with one or more events. So for this purpose, for registration, here are some of the methods. Now here, public void add type listener type en which contains one parameter here type is a name of an event that we are going to see for the many of the event and the el is a reference okay now sometimes the source is registered with a one event only so for that purpose what we will do here it will public void i type listener and it will throw java dot util dot too many listener exception that means when it is going to register with a single event we are going to use this method so what exactly here it will happen here is a type is a name of an event and e is a reference okay now after registration the listener will respond so this process uh, which when we use this that they th which throw the java dot util is too many listener exception so this process is called as unicasting unique casting process just remember this and what is the listener as i told listener is a object listener is an object with response to a event and there are two rules which should be remember the first one is obvious that it must be registered with one or more sources so that it will get the notification and the second one is it should implement the method for receiving and processing the this notification so these are two rules which are very important which should be implemented by using the whenever we are using this event handling so just 
let me tell in short again the delegation event model. What exactly is the delegation event model? Suppose let me give an example. There are two entities, right? Source and the listener. Let me give an example. So suppose there is a button and here is a Java code. Here, see, internally there is a Java code. Now this button, just consider this button as a source and the Java code as a as your listener okay then whenever the user click on that button the state will change then the event will occur so this what is a source and what are the program is there that we have done it will respond so this is what the listener so because of this the application which is that process that means differently separate clearly are separated from each other logically due to the source and listener so this is what the delegation event model which contains the two entities source and listener that i have told now so this was regarding the delegation event model the regarding the same if you have any kind of question you can mention in the comment section and thank you so much for watching this video thank you